Hi, my name is August, and today we are going to be counting down my top 10 favorite birds of all time. See, this was a really hard list to put together because there are a lot of birds that I really like, and narrowing it down to just 10 was pretty difficult, and obviously this list is subject to change because I find out about a lot of really cool birds all the time, so this list is kind of constantly changing, but I was able to narrow it down to 10 birds and we're going to be going over them today from my least favorite to my favorite. I hope you enjoy. Number 10 here on my list is going to be the Rosiette Spoonbill. This is a bird that is native to Texas, so if you ever go to some marshy areas like Corpus Christi or Rockport or Galveston, you're likely to see one. It's a bird with a really interesting shaped beak in the shape of a spoon where it gets its name, the Spoonbill. And they have that beautiful green, I mean not green, obviously pink color as you can see they are super cool and what's extra cool about them is they make this really cool noise i will link it in the bio of this video but if you've never heard it the rosette spoonbill has one of the most unique bird calls of all time that is just so cool to hear that i've never heard in real life but it's still pretty cool moving on to my number nine spot number nine spot of my top 10 favorite birds is going to be the ring necked pheasant i really like the ring necked pheasant because it is such a beautiful bird with that the males especially this is going to be a picture of a male right there the males have that beautiful red face and they just have all those crazy colors it's um historically a game bird but i think it would be really cool just to have as a pet to maybe have some pheasant eggs to eat with is also a really a delicacy in many countries i think it would be an awesome pet but their coloration is really pretty and this is another bird that is u.s native so if you go to some northern parts of the u.s you're likely to see one out in the wild my number eight spot for today is going to be the eastern screech owl this is the smallest species of owl native to the north america they are so small and they are in the color of bark to blend in during the night. They are the first nocturnal bird on my list, along with being the first carnivorous bird on my list. What is so cool about owls in general to me is that when they beat their wings, there's absolutely no sound. This gives them the advantage of sneaking up on their prey without ever being detected. And I think that is a really awesome feature. All right, moving on to number seven. Number seven pick for this list is going to be the peregrine falcon. The peregrine falcon is the fastest animal on the planet, being able to go up to 200 miles when diving down on its prey. This is an extremely, not only cool, but beautiful bird with that black coloration on its head. I have um, been lucky enough to actually hold a peregrine falcon on my arm and it is at one of the highlights of my life. They are a really beautiful bird, a, another bird of prey. Uh, you're, that's gonna be a trend on this list. I like birds of prey and I think they're pretty cool. So the peregrine falcon definitely up there on my favorites, but there are a couple that will outrank it on this list. And let's get into my number six pick. For my number six pick, I chose what I find to be one of, if not the cutest birds to ever live, the Atlantic Puffin. This is the only seabird on my list. Their diet consisting mostly of fish, but I think they are adorable. They are also native to the US, living around the main area on Egg Rock. Egg Rock is a very highly researched area in the Atlantic Ocean by many people. Uh, you should follow the Egg Rock Instagram. It, I'll also link that in the bio. It is a really cool thing. And those puffins will just come there during the breeding season over the summer in the, by the thousands. It is truly a remarkable thing that one day I would hope to see. Now, moving on to my fifth spot. For my number five spot on this list, I went with the Whooping Crane. The Whooping Crane has a very special place in my heart because it is an animal that almost faced extinction. When I was little, I got to go see whooping cranes out in their natural habitat. <sighs> they were one of the most beautiful things, and this was when their populations was under 100. When I saw them in the wild down at Corpus Christi, I highly recommend it. But thanks to places such as the San Antonio Zoo, we have been able to rehabilitate the whooping crane population and there are now around a thousand out in the wild which is a really amazing story and on top of that I think they are one of the most beautiful birds you'll ever see. They are huge, they're about six feet tall and they mate for life and they are one of the coolest birds I've seen. So for number four on my list I decided to go with the marabou stork. 
The marabou stork is not the most conventionally pretty bird. It is act most people do not find it very attractive. It's considered a pest in Africa where it is native to. I think it is a really cool bird. They can live up to like 70 years out in maybe in captivity, maybe longer. But the marabou stork is a meat eater bird and is considered a scavenger, which gives it a very bad reputation. But I think it is just such an awesome bird and it is highly underrated in the birding community. Getting the bronze medal here on this list, in my number three spot we have the secretary bird. This is also known as the snake eating bird because they will grab snakes with their long feet that you can see right there. And the reason they're called a secretary bird is because they have these feathers in the back of their head that resemble pencils in a secretary's hair, which I think is a really funny story. But they have that beautiful bright orange on the side of their head and with their amazing like cap hunting capabilities, I think they are one of the coolest birds. These have been number one on my list a couple times in my life as my favorite bird, but I think these next two, just a by a little bit, outrank it. In number two spot, taking a silver medal, is the Toko Toucan. This bird with that black and white is such a sleek color combination with that bright, vibrant orange, makes it one of the prettiest birds. It is a berry-eating bird, and that is native to, I think, parts of South America. This is a bird that just has beautiful plumage and they are like very intelligent birds. So they're able to so problem solve and things like that. So they can have really complex relationships with humans, which I think is really awesome. So now onto my favorite bird of all time. For my number one spot, I decided to go with a gray crowned crane. The gray crowned crane is a bird that is on this face of ex facing extinction, but the coloration on the bird and just its vibrantness, they are a very cheerful species and they mate for life too. So, and their babies are really cute. And the fact just, there are so many factors that make me love this bird, but its coloration, its habits, its where it's from, I love Africa, so it is puts it up there as the top bird that is my favorite bird of all time. What did you think of my list? Do you think there was any birds that I left out? Please tell me in the comments your favorite bird and I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, iNaturalist, and of course subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.